welcome to Sosa Lounge. Today I'm going to teach you how to thread your sewing machine when you have a front load bobbin. Now in case you're wondering, front load bobbin loads into the front of your machine. So if your machine doesn't look like this, you probably have a top load bobbin and that's going to be a different video. So to get started, you need to take your bobbin case and your bobbin. And you may be thinking, what's a bobbin? Bobbin is a little spool of metal or plastic sometimes that you wrap the thread around. This goes into the bottom of your machine so that it's the bobbin thread. So that's the thread that comes up from the bottom. So the needle goes down, catches the bobbin thread, pulls it up, and that's what makes the stitch line. And when you have a front load machine, you have to have a bobbin casing. Now you may be wondering, what's a bobbin casing? And I wondered the same thing when I started sewing. I went to the Bernina store, I asked the lady for a bobbin case, and I was thinking I was gonna get something that looked like this. Imagine my surprise when I got something that looked like this. I looked at it, I thought, what am I gonna do with this thing? Thankfully, they explained that in the sewing lab. So, to get started, you just need a bobbin and your bobbin casing, and we're gonna to go to the machine and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first you're going to turn your machine on and then you take your bobbin and you're gonna put it on the top of the bobbin winder, which is usually located at the top of your machine. There is gonna be a lever or um, a little button that you switch over. And by doing that, you're transferring the power that usually goes down to the needle to the winding mechanism of the bobbin. Then you can take your thread any color you like, and make sure that it's going counterclockwise. Put your spool of thread onto the spool holder, and then you're gonna take your thread, wind it around the bobbin tension knob, and then back around your bobbin. And then you can hold that thread in place, apply pressure to the foot pedal, and start winding. It doesn't always catch the first time, so you may need to wrap the thread a little bit and start again. There we go. Here is the close-up view for the replay. So the bobbin is on the bobbin winder. We're going to engage that lever there. Take your thread. Make sure it's coming counterclockwise off the spool. We're going to go around the bobbin tension knob and then back over the top of the bobbin, wrap the thread around a couple of times, and then I'm gonna press that foot pedal, and it's catching. Come let go now, there we go. Good job. So this is a super close up of your bobbin winding, and what you wanna notice is that the thread is going up and down onto the, the shaft of the bobbin because you want it to feed evenly. And if it's not doing that, you can tap it with your finger to make sure that it feeds evenly. So you can see that it's, it's even, it's rectangular on both sides. That's how you want your bobbin thread to look. You don't want it to be wider at the top, going tapered to the middle and then fanning out again on the bottom because when your bobbin is threaded that way, it's more likely to break during the sewing process and then you have to stop and start over all again. So that looks like that's enough thread on the bobbin. Use your thread cutter that comes with the lever or scissors if you need them. And we're good. Now that you have thread on your bobbin, you're going to take your bobbin in your right hand and your bobbin case in your left hand. And you're going to put the bobbin in and then you're going to take the thread and you're gonna drag it through so it catches in this little latch right there. There's like a little notch. Then you're going to drag that thread underneath this little arm here and then pull it out between these two little arms. So it looks like this. Then you're gonna take the bobbin and the case together, leave the tail hanging out, and you're gonna put it into the front load bobbin apparatus. And you can see that the bobbin moves around a little bit. You wanna make sure that it is snapped in and not moving. 
Every bobbin goes into a front load machine a little bit differently. So check your manual if yours is sliding around too much and it's not fixed. Now we're gonna go up to the top thread and I'm gonna show you how that's done. If your thread is still around the bobbin tension knob, you wanna just pull it off. If it's kind of long, you can turn the spool a little bit, get some of that thread back on there. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a thread and you're gonna run it through the first tension guide, which is at the top of your machine. And then you're gonna go down the front of your machine. You're gonna catch it in the second thread tension guide. Then it's gonna go back up and it's gonna go through this take up lever that looks like a little kind of arm. Sometimes it's called a take up arm. Then you're gonna go down the front and you're gonna catch the thread at the base of the needle. So make sure that your thread is caught up here at the uh, base of the needle. And then you're going to take your thread and run it through the eye of the needle. Needles on modern machines thread front to back. Uh, vintage machines sometimes thread differently, so don't stress about that unless you've got a vintage machine. And you have to thread front to back because if you thread back to front, your machine jams up and it doesn't stitch. And I know this from experience. So um, once you've got your thread, you can pull it through. It's gone through the eye of the needle. You pull it under the presser foot and then you're just gonna hold it out to the side. Holding the thread tail from the needle in your left hand, you're going to use your right hand to roll down the hand wheel. This is gonna make the needle go into the bobbin, as you can see right here. And it's going to drop a loop of thread that's then going to catch the bobbin thread. This is a super close-up view of what's happening. And this is the upper thread that's gone down around your bobbin. And it's caught this bobbin thread in between. So to pull out the bobbin thread, you want to hold the top thread and then just gently pull and it's gonna catch that bobbin thread and pull it up to the top. So I'm pulling that thread and as you can see, the little thread loop just popped up under the presser foot and you can take some scissors or pencil or whatever you have and you're gonna grab that little thread loop and you're gonna pull it. And now you've got the bobbin thread and the needle thread both coming out of your machine you're going to pull them both towards the back, close up the front of your machine, and you're ready to start sewing. So that's it. Now you know how to thread your machine when you have a front load bobbin. It's not really that complicated once you know what you're supposed to do. And if you forget, you can always come back and watch this video again. And if you've enjoyed this video from Sew Sew Lounge, be sure to subscribe by clicking the button below and head on over to SoSoLounge.com for the latest tips and techniques to learn basic sewing skills and build a foundation to sew whatever you want. Happy sewing!